Good morning. Good morning, Tatanasia. It's great to see you. Happy Thursday. Hey, beautiful Daniela. God bless you. It's awesome to see you. Hey, Sister Kelly. Good morning to you. God bless you. Praise God. It is Thursday, y'all. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, praise God. I'm excited about today. I don't know about you, but I'm like, God, I just know you're going to speak a powerful word this morning. I just know you're going to encourage us and lift our spirits. So I just, I'm just, I'm just excited. I, I know y'all probably said, man, she's like excited every single morning. You're right. I am excited because God's word is new and fresh every single morning. Hey, Deanna, good morning. Hey, Sister Suzette, good morning. Hey, Sharmika, good morning. God bless you. Thank you all for coming on. As you're coming on, do me a favor, click share, invite others to join us. Thank you for the hearts. Um, tag somebody, tag them and say, this is Thursday. Come and get your, your inspiration on. Come and get a fresh word from God. Come and get a personal word from God. Come and get your spirits lifted and encouraged. Amen. Just tell them, come on and join us. Y'all know how we do. Hey, Sister Cynthia, good morning. God bless you. Okay. All right. That, okay, your church today is going to Ottawa. Okay, are you going with them, Daniela? You're excited to Tatani? That is awesome. Hey, Sister Coretta, God bless you. Praise God. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up in prayer this morning. Um, and just, you know, we just invite the Holy Spirit as we always do. So just say it with me, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, speak. So Father God, we just thank you for this time. Thank you for this place. Good morning, Sister Ruth. Father God, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your word that is alive. We thank you for your word that speaks and speaks with clarity and speaks loudly and, and speaks personally. We thank you, God, for waking us up this morning. We thank you for another day, for another opportunity. We thank you that your mercies, oh my goodness, your mercies are new every single day. We all need new mercy. We all need new grace. We, we all need the opportunity to do some things over again or to do some things differently. We all need an opportunity to regroup and refocus. And so we thank you for another day to allow us to do that. Holy Spirit, you are so welcome here. You are needed here. And we want to hear from you this morning. Speak clearly. Speak uh, precisely. Speak directly to our hearts. Speak to our soul today. So that at the end of this live, it will be well with our soul. And we'll be careful to give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I see some more of you coming on. Praise God. You're driving, Sister Suzette. Be safe. And thank you for joining. Hey, Sister Penny, God bless you. It's great to see you. Praise God. Hey, Sister Jeanette. Hey, Lupe. Good morning. It's good to see you. It's good to see you this morning. So listen, this morning, we're going to jump right on in. Uh, because I do believe that the Holy Spirit wants to speak and I don't want to get in his way. Amen. So thank you all for just good morning, Coretta. Amen. I, I'm just grateful for another opportunity to get into his word, to, to you know, get with you all and fellowship with you and, and just, you know, spend our time together. Start off together. I love it, right? Good morning. Uh, I don't know if it's Reve or Reeve, but good morning. I just want to acknowledge you. Forgive me if I mispronounce your name, but I always love to see new faces and new names on here. So thank you for joining. We welcome you this morning. So this morning, we're going to be in a very familiar passage. I know that you've heard this before, and you've probably even spoken these words to yourself. <clears throat> and if you have, then know that you are in the right place. And I'm in the right place this morning. And I just believe that God wants to lift and encourage our souls this morning. And like I said, if you think of it, if there's anybody, hey, Karina, God bless you. Um, <clears throat> if, um, if you can think of anybody that just, you know that their spirits need to be lifted, tag them. Click share, invite them, tell them, hey, or, you know, come get your, 
your inspired word this morning. Come get your motivation. Come and get extra strength and encouragement, right? Because this is what we do every single morning. So this morning, we are going to be, hey, Sister Jay, good morning. God bless you. Thank you for coming on, being excited to get into the word of God. The word of God excites me too, my sister. So God bless you. So we're going to be in Joshua 1, 9. Joshua 1, 9. Hey, Sister Sally, good morning. God bless you. It's a very simple scripture, but it is so profound. It is so needed. It is so encouraging. Somebody, anybody like me, just you just want, you just need the word of God to just encourage you this morning. You know, the truth is sometimes we can get kind of tired and we can get kind of weary. And if the truth be told, sometimes we can even get frustrated, right? Frustrated with the process. Good morning, Sister Vaughn. I mean, we know we're going somewhere, but sometimes it just feels like it's taking a long time. And so, you know, there are times that God has to come in and just speak some strength, blow some fresh wind, revive our spirits. And I believe that's what this word is going to do this morning. Good morning, Sister Michelle. So we are in Joshua 1, 9 this morning. And hear the word of God. I just love it. This is God speaking to Joshua. And this could be very well, you know, just imagine God speaking to you, Sister Jade, speaking to you, Tatanisha, to you, Michelle, to you, Sister Vaughn. This is God speaking to you. This is God speaking to you, Sister Penny. Here's what the word of the Lord says. He says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid and don't be discouraged. For the Lord, your God, will be with you wherever you go. He says, haven't I, haven't I not commanded you? God says, I'm not, I'm not suggesting this. I am commanding. I am telling you this. God says, I am telling you straight up, be strong and courageous. The reason God is telling Joshua this is because he knows what lies ahead. He knows what's coming. He says, you got to be strong, Joshua. You got to be strong, Penny. You got to be strong, Jade. You got to be strong. You got to be courageous. Don't be afraid because there might be some things that may come into your path, some situations that, that occurred that you might you might be tempted to be afraid, but God says, don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged, for I am with you wherever you go. Is that not already a good word, a, a word of encouragement for our souls this morning? Because somebody said, God knows. God knows. God knows. See, we don't know because, you know, we don't see the big picture that God sees, but he sees, right? And I'm confident, we say this all the time, you know, that God does not put more on us than we can bear. That's not scriptural, okay? Let me tell you, that's not, there's nowhere you can find that in the Bible. But here is what I, I will that is in the Bible, where God tells us that we can do all things. Hey, Janelle, good morning. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. That's what, that's what the word says. And then the word also says that the weapons may form, but what? They will not prosper. So right off the bat, God is giving us promises that even though we may ch uh, face some challenges, even though we may come up against something, he's, he's giving us the assurance that whatever uh, comes is not to defeat us, but it is to develop us. I need to say that again for somebody that what you are going through, it is not to defeat you, beloved, though you may feel defeated. You understand? We have our feelings because we're human. And so I get that. There are times that I may feel defeated as well. But God says, listen, he says, you can do all things through my son, through Christ, right? So he says, be strong and courageous. He said, I am commanding you. I'm not suggesting it. This is not a suggestion. So God had to tell Mo, uh, tell Joshua this because guess what? At, to this point, Moses was the leader. He was the one that was leading out. And so jo uh, God is saying to Joshua, listen, listen, I know that you're used to looking at an example. You're used to looking at Moses and he's been the example. But now God says to Joshua, I'm calling you to be the example. 
Somebody said, I need to be the example. It's great to have examples that we're looking at, but guess what? There comes a time that all that preparation and everything we've gone through and all that stretching and all that growing is for us to be an example, no longer just looking for one. Are y'all flowing with me? <laughs> so I'm glad, Sister Suzette, I just saw your comment. So I, I just want to say to you all that what God was saying to Joshua, I believe is the same thing he's saying to you and I this morning. It's, it's next level time. It's time to go to the next level. Somebody say, it's next level time. It's time for me to level up. It's time for me to go to the next level. This is what God was saying to Joshua. He said, listen, it's time. I, this level for some time now. You've learned all you need to learn. You've experienced what you need to experience. I know you don't think that that situation had anything to do with where I'm taking you, but it does. I know you don't see how that uh, that painful situation grew you up and matured you, but it did. And so God is coming to you and I, and he says, listen, it is next level time, and I need you to be strong. I need you to be courageous. I need you to know that I am with you wherever you go. Because listen, whether Joshua realized it or not, and beloved, whether you realize it or not, you've been in preparation mode for a minute now. You, you have been um, learning and growing and stretching. You understand what I'm saying? Your faith has been challenged and, and guess what? You're still here. You're still standing. So that tells me that you have overcome that. I know it may not have been easy. I know it's probably still not easy, but guess what? You are still here. You are still standing. What God allowed to come into your path was not to take you out. It was to take you up. Come on, somebody. Did you hear what I just said? What God allowed to come into your path was not to take you out. It was to take you up. So you've been, you've been in preparation mode for a minute now. And now, somebody said, now, now it's time to put into practice what you've learned, to put into practice what you've seen, to put, it, to put into practice what you've been reading, to put into practice what we've been talking about on these lives for the last, you know, six, eight months, however long it's been. It's time to put the pedal to the metal. It's next level time. Moses, I mean, Joshua saw what to do and what not to do as it pertained to Moses. You know, because some of us, that's our fear when we say, you know, we say it's time to go to the next level, right? <laughs> we, we start... Um, looking at maybe the other examples that we've had around us. And, and listen, Moses was a great example because Moses did a lot of things great. He did a lot of things very powerfully, but he also did some things that if Joshua was paying attention, he would see what not to do, right? Any of you got some folk around you can, can just, you know, this, this is, it says that a, um, what it says, a wise man, or a woman learns from the mistakes of others. You understand what I'm saying? An even wiser man. So it's like, okay, it's good to learn from your mistakes, but you're really, 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 really smart when you learn from the mistakes of others. Like when you see somebody else do it a certain way and it does not work, then yeah, that's kind of like when you get a clue. And so Joshua saw Moses actually miss out on the promised land because of his incorrect response to God. And so for all of us, we have examples around us all day long of both what to do and what not to do. In fact, the greatest example we have is Jesus himself. But God says, listen, now it's next level time. It's next level, Sister Esther, Sister Janelle, it's, it's Sister Jeanette, it's, it's next level time. It's time to go Listen, where you've been, you've been here for long enough. You've learned what you needed to learn. You've gone through what you needed to go through. Some of you, you're not feeling ready, but it's okay because I actually believe that when we don't feel like we're ready is when, we're, when we are ready because we have to rely upon God. We have, this is what, you know, God isn't saying to Joshua, listen, it's next level time and go do it by yourself. God is saying, no, it's next level time. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to be strong. I need you to be courageous. But listen, don't forget I'm with you. That's a beautiful promise. So whatever God is, uh, whatever God is calling you to, whatever your next level is, God wants to assure you that you can do this. 
Brother Janelle, got you. I apologize. I thought it was a uh, you were. Um, I thought it was a um, a name of a young lady, but okay, Janelle Lavar Scott. You are a brother. Come on, I gotta recognize you, brother Janelle. God bless you. <laughs> I love it. So whatever it is that God is calling you to, brother Janelle, as you go to your next level, you need to know that you have already been in preparation for it warrior you have already been those things that you have gone through that tried to break you actually made you who you are actually made you a more powerful vessel in the hands of god i know for some of us we are going through some tough things and we're going why god why why you know why me well why not me god knows the greatness he placed in you God knows the powerful, the, the powerful purpose he's put in you. Why not you? Because if we get so comfortable, you know, uh, we always talk about going out into the deep and stepping out of the boat and going into deep waters. Listen, some of us have been sitting on the sand and building sand castles and playing in the shallow for way too long. God is saying, okay, now it's time to launch out. Somebody say launch out. God is saying, now it's time to, not only is he calling, I remember when he called me to step out of the boat, I did, I stepped out of the boat and I felt all good about myself. I was like, oh yeah, I stepped out of the boat. But guess what? Once I stepped out, that the next level was the boat just disappeared altogether. So even if I wanted to go back, I looked behind me and the boat was gone. And then as I was learning how to tread water where I was, and I was like, okay, I'm out in the deep. This is awesome. This is amazing. You know what God did? He called me to go even deeper. Never get satisfied with where you are. Understand that you were created for a powerful purpose. And that purpose is going to pull on you. That purpose is going to require that you grow. That purpose is going to require that you become strengthened. That purpose is going to require that your faith, is, it goes to another level. And that's what we're talking about this morning. That's right, Sister Vaughn. It's time to launch out. It's time to go to the next level. Hey, Sister Janice, God bless you. So as I was reading this scripture, and I, like I said, you've been in preparation mode now for a minute. You may not realize it, but you have been. God encouraged Joshua, just like he's encouraging you and I today, right? That don't get to the point where you start becoming consumed and afraid because you're looking at what's in front of you, what's before you. God wants you to think about who's in you. You understand what I'm saying? Greater is he in me than he that's in the world. You understand? So don't look at what's out there and become afraid and, and, and become worried. You got to look at what's in here. You got to look at who's in here. You've got the power of the Holy Spirit in you. So he said to Joshua, he said, listen, don't, don't, be strong, be courageous, but remember, I am with you. And can I tell you something? That others may not believe in you, but God does. You need to know that this morning. Because sometimes, some of us, you, we just got to do this thing alone. Because there may not be other people that understand. There may not be other people who believe. There may not be other people who celebrate. There may not be other people who encourage. Am I talking to anybody this morning that, you know, sometimes when you make a decision to follow God and do what God says, sometimes when you make a decision to go to that next level, sometimes when you make the decision to launch out into the deep, when you turn around, it seems like you're all by yourself. And then it seems like nobody believes in you. But can I tell you this morning, God believes in you. And he needs you to believe that he believes in you so that you can believe in yourself. I'm going to say that again. God needs you to believe, in, believe that he believes in you so that you can believe in yourself. Sometimes we are our worst enemy. Am I telling the truth? Sometimes it's not even the other people. Sometimes it's not even... It's, it's us. We can be like our biggest enemy. But with God, we can do all things. That's what, it, that's what the scripture tells us. So God says, listen, don't be, don't be so caught up in looking at the size of the task or the purpose more than you're looking at me. Because sometimes we become afraid because we take our eyes off of God. And we start looking at the thing more than we're looking at God. 
That's exactly what Peter did. When he, I said, launch out, right? I said, get out of the boat. Well, when you get out of the boat, you can't get out of the boat and start looking at the waves. You can't get out of the boat and start looking at your paycheck. Help me, Holy Ghost. You can't get out of the boat and start looking at everything in the natural and surveying whether or not God called you out based on, on what's happening in the natural. You got to keep your eyes on God. When Peter stepped out of the boat, he stepped out because his eyes was on Jesus. When you step out, when you launch out, when you level up, you've got to keep your eyes on the one that said, it's time to come with me. It's time to walk with me. It's time to go to the next level. And so God was telling this to Joshua, just like he's telling you and I. He doesn't want us to focus so much on the size of the task. He wants us to focus on the size of our God. God believes in you. And you listen, at some point, praise God for leaders around us. But can I tell you something? God is now calling you to the level. It's great that you have leaders, but now God is calling you to be a leader. Do I have any leaders out there? I believe I'm looking at leaders right now. And understand something too. Leadership doesn't mean that you got to announce yourself. Leadership doesn't mean that you got to pronounce yourself. Leadership doesn't mean that you got to be the loudest. Leadership doesn't mean that. It just means to lead by example. Somebody say, I need to lead by example. Let your faith be the example of what other people's faith should look like. Let your praise be an example of what other people's praise should look like. Let your worship, let your obedience. Amen. Are y'all flowing with me? Remember, it is not about you. It's about the Jesus in you. It's about taking God everywhere you go. Everything, listen, everything you need to go to the next level is already in you or is being cultivated as you go. And it's time for us, to, we, it's time to go to the next level. And, and that's why some of you have been feeling a couple of things. I'm, I'm just going to share this with you and then I'm going to go ahead and pray. You know, when it's next level time, you're going to start feeling a shift in, in, in some things. You're going to feel a shift in relationships because when it's next level time, there are just some relationships that cannot go to the next level with you. Some of us are fortunate that we may be able to take two or three or four. Some of us are fortunate that maybe we can take a little more. Some of us are fortunate we can take one. But guess what? Some of us are just going to have to do it alone. Some of us are going to have to move forward. But, but again, remember, you're not alone. God is with you. But there are times that you're going to have to forge forward. You're going to have to launch out. You're going to have to level up. And you may it may feel like you're doing it alone. but you're not alone. And this is what God is saying to Joshua. He's like, listen, there, I've, got, I've got another level for you to go to. And you need to understand that I'm with you. Therefore, you can be strong. You can be courageous. This is not a suggestion. God is not saying to you, you might be able to make it. God is saying, no, you're going to be able to make it. You just need to remember, I'm with you. So a shift in your relationships, yeah, that, that's an indication. That's an indication that God is calling you to the next level. And listen, be careful that you don't miss that next level because you're trying to hold on to things at the level that you're about to leave. I'm gonna say that again. Be careful, you cannot go to the next level looking back, breaking your neck at the level that you're leaving. There, there are some things you're gonna to have to leave in that level that you're about to, you're going to a new level. And so you cannot go to something new if you're still holding on to old. And so the next level God is taking you to, it is going to require releasing some of the people that you are surrounded by because they were only good enough to, to assist you, to walk with you to the level that you've been at, but now it's time to go to the next level. And so what God has to do is literally take your hand and release you from those, you know, it's, it's kind of like releasing you from where you, you're coming from so that your hands will be free to turn around and grab a hold of what you're going to. And so that's right, Jeanette, there's going to be a shift. There's going to be a shift in your relationships. 
You understand? There's going to be a shift in, in your circumstance. There, there, there's some things that you, you, you thought you needed. There's some things you thought defined you. There's some things you thought were a necessity that God is going to show you that the only necessity we have in this life is him. And we're going to have to make some decisions. You understand? You, you're going you're gonna to recognize a shift in, in what God is asking of you. He, he, you understand God is not going to be asking for some tougher things. You understand he's, he, you know, the, the little things that he used to require, that's, that's, that's of the old. Now he's, and when, when it's the next level, he's going to be asking you to do some things that you absolutely cannot do without him. You have to do it with him. If you try to do it without him, we're going to fail. So there's going to be a shift. Somebody say shift. There's going to be a shift. Hey, Shakola, good morning. So we have to be able to recognize when that shift is happening. I believe that the Holy Spirit had me speak that this morning because some of you are either in a shift right now and you're kind of fighting it because it's causing you to, 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 you know, to let go of what has been familiar. It's, called, it's causing you to have to let go of what got you to where you are now because guess what? It's time to go to the next level. So some of you are there right now. And, and I've said it before, and you have been, um, you've been blaming the devil. Oh, the devil is attacking me. No, God is not. It, the devil is not attacking you. God is preparing you. Somebody say, I'm being prepared because there's a next level that God is calling you to, beloved. And some of us get too comfortable where we are. And God says, okay, now I got to shake some things up. I got to shift some things to include some relationships, to include some comfort zones, to include some things that we thought we needed, but we really, really don't. And where you are going, you have to be able to keep your eyes on God. And so anything that is will be a distraction, anything that God will have to compete against, he is going to remove. Be warned about that. Anything that you're allowing to be a competition to God, where it competes with God, for, for if, where it competes with God's attention where it competes with our, our, um, our affection for God, where it competes, God is going to remove it, beloved. But it's shift time. I don't know about you, but I get excited to know that God actually, when I think of myself, I don't think of myself as ever really being worthy to be used by God, but I recognize that he has placed a powerful purpose in me, which means he believes in me which means he believes in you. No matter how much we feel like we've missed it, no matter how much we feel like we've messed up, can I tell you, God believes in you. No matter how much, how many times you've had to repent and how many times you've had to start all over again and all those times, God believes in you. And there's a purpose that he placed in you and there is a, there's a direction that he's trying to take you. And I just want to say to you this morning, this is what's happening right now is you're being leveled up. You're going to the next level. That's why some of you have been feeling like it's like the, the, the heat has been turned up. So if anybody feeling like the fire has gotten hotter, and that's because there are just some things that God has to burn away. You know, sometimes what he has to uh, burn away is even just our thinking, how we see ourselves, how we see our situations, how we see him, how we understand our purpose. You understand there, there's some there's some old mindsets he needs to burn away. There are just some things. So he's turned up the fire on all of us. He's turned it up on me too, just real talk. You understand now he's requiring more. Somebody say more, right? To whom much is given, what? Much is required. And if you're desiring for God to use you more, if you're desiring to go to the next level, then you can expect that God is going to require more. But here's the great news, beloved. God's not going to ask you for anything that you don't have the ability to respond and give him exactly what he's asking for because he has already placed it in you. He's equipped you with it. So it's next level time, y'all. No more settling for what you can do in your own power. No more settling for just enough. No more compromising. No more feeling like this is all it is. No, no, no. It's time to go to the next level. But God says, he sends a word to you this morning, Sister Donna. He sends a word to you, Sister Vaughn. He sends a word to you, Brother Janelle. He sends a word to you, Daniela. 
He sends a word to you, Sister Janice. He sends a word to you, Sister Ruth, to you, Sister Esther, Sister Cynthia. He sends a word to you. He says, be strong and be courageous. Don't be afraid. Somebody tell yourself, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Even though things are shifting all around you, don't be afraid. Even though some things are being removed and some people are, are being removed, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Why? Because God is with you everywhere you go. I pray this message encourages your soul this morning. You are not being attacked, beloved. You are being prepared. Amen, Sister Karina? You are being prepared. God has great plans for you and I. That's what his word tells us. And for us to do great things, we're going to have to become great vessels in the hands of God. Father God, we just thank you for this word today. I thank you, God, that we can do all things through your son, Jesus. I thank you that if you call us to it, you will bring us through it. I thank you, God, that we are not being punished. We are being prepared. I thank you, God, that even if it's just you and us, we can do this thing. We can move forward. I thank you, Father God, that, that though you've placed examples around us, that we are not them and they are not us and what you're calling us to. So I thank you that Joshua, you know, recognize that he's not Moses, that there's a different call on him and, and that you're walking him, walking with him every step of the way. Father God, get our eyes off of other people. Get our eyes off of other, the way other people have done things. Get our eyes off of people who have failed. Get our eyes off of people who didn't make it. Get our eyes off of people who didn't succeed. That is not our story. Thank you for believing in us. Now, Father God, help us to believe in you so we can believe in ourselves. Help us to desire to be the best version of ourselves that we possibly can be. Help us to desire to reach our fullest potential. Help us to desire to not be comfortable and, and just uh, be complacent in the familiar, but help us to desire to step out into the deep where you're going to show us things that other people that's in the shallow will never see. Thank you for entrusting that into our care, Father God. Thank you for using us. Thank you for choosing us, God. Now, Father God, give us the ability to be strong and be courageous and not be afraid as we level up this morning. As we step in, some of us, we didn't recognize that this opportunity that was presented was, was the chance to level up. We looked at it and felt like we, didn't, we weren't adequate for it felt like we didn't qualify, felt that we were not ready. Thank you for opening our eyes this morning because we will never be ready in and of ourselves. But with you, we are ready to go forward. We are ready to level up. We are ready to be launched out into the deep, step into our new season. So we thank you, God, for this word that challenges our faith this morning. But we recognize that apart from you, we can do nothing. But with you, we can do all things. So we give you the praise, the honor, and the glory this morning. We are ready to level up. Ready, God. Do it and do it in a way that only you can do it, where you will get all the glory, all the praise, and all the honor. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. <laughs> God is good, y'all. He really is good. And I am glad. I am glad that you all are receiving this word this morning. It's time to go to the next level. Hallelujah, glory be to God. God is so good. And this message was for those of you who are ready to go to a new level in God, a new level in your, in your walk, a new level in your ministry, in your business, in your education, a new level in your relationships. Come on, a, just a new level in, in your health, whatever that new level is for you. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Amen. I love you all so much. And guess what, y'all? Tomorrow is Friday. And I look forward to coming back with you and ending the week strong. Don't forget to click share so others can watch this and be encouraged as well. I pray that you have a terrific Thursday. I love each and every one of you. Have an awesome day. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you all for the privilege of speaking into your lives. Hey, Sister Lonnie, God bless you. Love you all.